In the EU, there is great criticism of Hungary's new law on sexual minorities. Commission Chief von der Leyen wants to take decisive action against it. Chancellor Merkel has now also expressed her criticism. EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has announced decisive action against the controversial Hungarian law restricting information about homosexuality and transsexuality. The law discriminates against people based on their sexual orientation and violates fundamental values of the European Union, said von der Leyen in Brussels. And she said, this Hungarian law is a shame. According to the head of the commission, the legal concerns will now be detailed in a letter to the Hungarian government. This should take place before the new rules come into force, said the politician. Should Hungary not be able to dispel the concerns, the EU Commission is likely to initiate official infringement proceedings against the country after the law comes into force. This could then end with a ruling by the European Court of Justice. The law approved by Hungarian Parliament last week foresees, among other things, a ban on books, films and other media that are accessible to children and young people and in which sexuality is presented by the by something that differs from heterosexuality. In addition, advertising should be banned in which homosexuals or transsexuals appear as part of normality. Prime Minister Viktor Orban denies that the law is directed against homosexuals and that sexual minorities are discriminated against in his country. In communist Hungary, homosexual people were persecuted. Today, the state not only guarantees the rights of homosexuals, but actively protects them. The freedom of the individual is the greatest good. Everyone should be able to unquestionably freely choose their path in life. The education of growing children belongs in the parental home. We protect this responsibility of parents, said Alban. In contrast, numerous EU states had criticized the law as discriminatory. And yeah, I agree. Around half of the 27 EU states, including Germany, called on the European Commission to take immediate action. The authority must use all the instruments at its disposal against a discriminatory law, according to a statement published on Tuesday, that was initiated by Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. The EU Commission is taking action against Hungary for several alleged violations of basic values. For example, Brussels has initiated proceedings against Budapest because the Hungarian government had withdrawn the frequencies from the country's last independent broadcaster, Club Radio. In the past few years, the Commission successfully brought several successful actions against Hungary before the European Court of Justice. Often, it was about asylum and migration policy. In mid-February, Brussels started another procedure because Budapest had failed to implement a ruling by the ECJ. It was about Hungary's controversial NGO law, which violates EU law. It stipulates that non-governmental organizations must report foreign donation and obliges them to disclose donor data. But part of the whole truth is that the EU first made the Hungarian Prime Minister Orban strong. Because there are already 102 such infringements proceedings against Hungary, with no serious consequences. If another is added now, Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban will take it calmly. He knows the trial will peter out. It is astonishing that the Commission had so far not used a much sharper weapon against the notorious rule of law violator Orban. Since the beginning of the year, the Commission has been able to use the new rule of law mechanism to cut EU funding. Whenever EU funds are misappropriated, and that is the order of the day in Hungary. Orban collects billions from the community budget in Brussels every year and is happy to distribute them to family members and party friends. The Brussels corruption investigators have meticulously demonstrated this in many proceedings. The European Parliament wants to complain that Commissioner Head von der Leyen is still not using the new rule of law mechanism. Yes, and they are right. Rightly. It is a scandal that the money from Europe's taxpayers is used to support a regime that tramples on the fundamental values of the Union. Orban harasses minorities because of their sexual inclination. He muzzles critical journalists and leaves independent media out of his friends um, and lets his supporters buy them up. In the state media, the opposition hardly gets a word anyway. Nevertheless, the EU funding continues to flow and help Orban to further expand his authoritarian rule. 
Chancellor Merkel is also responsible for the fact that the Brussels Commission is not putting a stop to this. In her council presidency last year, she concluded a deal with Hungary and Poland and assured the notorious violators of the rule of law that the strict rules of the rule of law mechanism do not have to be applied for the time being, at least not until the decision of the European Court of Justice. So make Merkel gave way to open. Of course, they needed a compromise, but she wanted to co negotiate his approval for the Corona aid fund. And this approval now we know was bought far too dearly. And it's now taken its toll. 17 EU countries have now joined forces and condemned the Hungarian law on discrimination against homosexuals. Germany is part of it. And it would be good if Angela Merkel would now finally also campaign for the autocrat in Budapest to have the subsidies cut in other proceedings. If less money comes from Brussels, that would hit him. More so than the 103rd infringement case. The current dispute over the Hungarian law is closely linked to the debate about the rainbow lighting of the Munich EM stadium two days ago. Orban appealed to German politicians to accept the UEFA ban on lighting the Munich European Championship Stadium in rainbow colors. Whether the Munich soccer stadium or another European stadium shines in rainbow colors is not a state decision, Orban told the DPA news agency. In Budapest too, according to Orban, the rainbow colors are naturally part of the street scene. According to information provided to the DPA, he cancelled his trip to the European Championship game between Germany and Hungary and he didn't show up. Although there was no official confirmation, but he didn't show up. But he's apparently planning a trip to Brussels instead after the European Football Union had rejected an application from Munich's mayor Dieter Reiter um, from the Social Democrats to light up the Munich arena in rainbow colors on Wednesday when the German team had a really tough time against the Hungarian team. I must give it the, that to the Hungarian team. The UEFA said it's a politically and religiously neutral organization based on its uh, statutes. Given the political context, context of this particular request, a message aimed at the decision by the Hungarian parliament, UEFA must reject this request, they said. The rainbow flag is a symbol for the acceptance and equality of people who do not identify with a traditional role um, or the role model of men and women or other norms relating to gender and sexuality. And they might have gotten away with that excuse, but the problem is parts of the UEFA, like the German Football Federation, the DFB, also asked for that because of the, the uh, anti-discrimination part of the UEFA. They are using that themselves. They even put their whole logo into rainbow colors in the last days. And once again, in, in their statement, they said again, we are against discrimination, blah, blah, blah. But that was not a political request by the DFB. It was a general one based on the rules of the UEFA, and they still declined that. So that one with just from the request from the City Council of Munich doesn't work. In Germany, the UEFA decision against the lighting of the Munich Stadium caused severe criticism and disappointment. Chancellor Angela Merkel said uh, the, about the UEFA decision that she did not want to evaluate it. She could only say that UEFA made a difference between the stadium question and the rainbow-colored armband, like the one worn by the captain of the German national team, Manuel Neuer. Thanks, Manuel, once again for your support there. The Chancellor also found clear words about the Hungarian law. I think this law is wrong and also incompatible with my conception of politics. If Hungary allows homosexual civil partnerships on one, one hand but restricts information about them, it has to do with the freedom of education and is something for them that they reject politically. Vice-Chancellor and Chancellor-Candidate of the Social Democrats Olaf Scholz reacted similarly. The laws that the Hungarian government brings against homosexuals and others are completely unacceptable. The European Union is a community that feeds on the values of liberal democracy. And Scholz further emphasized, the open society is the model of the European Union. And that is why we cannot accept that. The EU must use its possibilities to act against that. Another of other German football stadiums and public buildings were illuminated in rainbow colors in the evening. Even the council session here was quite rainbowy yesterday before the game. 
The EU Commission representation in Germany hoisted the rainbow flag at its Berlin location and the Bavarian Lesbian and Gay Association announced protests in front of the Munich Arena. The human rights organization Amnesty International announced that it um, distributed 10,000 rainbow flags at the stadium in cooperation with Christopher Street Day Germany. The German Football Association announced that it would support this campaign. And numerous stadiums in Germany did shine in rainbow colors. Christian Ruder from the DFB Contact Point for Gender and Sexual Diversity welcomed the campaign. In the Night magazine, however, he said that the DFB's hands were tied at the stadium in Munich. He was dissatisfied with it himself. Before the game, he said the national team will wear the rainbow armband again. And he assumed that rainbow flags that are distributed before the game can also be seen in the stadium. But the whole thing is really a thing. Because of, and I have to say it, of money, the UEFA really is just pinkwashing themselves. And then if there's something coming up, they even try to stop Neuer from, from using the armband. So those hypocrites really should, should take the anti-discrimination PR campaign off their websites because now we all know it's just a blatant lie. So our fight will go on. And um, for my German viewers, I will talk about this exclusively, this UEFA um, stuff and pink washing on my Queer Views channel today. So I'm going to see you there tonight. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.